to turn your customers into loyal, raving fans. Today's modern consumer is smarter, better educated and informed than before. With all the easy access to information online, they can do a lot of comparison shopping and they've got more choice, there's more competitors and it's far more easy for them to find your competitors than they ever knew about before. And if they're dissatisfied with the product or the service that you have provided, they're pretty damn quick to promote you um, on social media. So keeping customers engaged is harder than ever before. Keep them loyal, you really do have to work hard at that. It's called customer churn, which is a marketing term for when customers leave. Um, a large survey that was conducted by the Rockefeller Corporation showed that 68% of people, most people, leave a business or a, a, a company because they feel that the business just doesn't really care about them. So how do you reduce customer churn? The first thing you must do is provide overwhelming value. You must make the customer feel that they're getting exceptional value for money. And then dazzle them with your outstanding service. Go that extra mile. Show them how much you care, how much you really do want to solve their problem, how much you really do want to help them. And to do everything you can to make sure that that happens. You need to continue to communicate. The businesses end their communication and end their relationship building with a prospect once the sale has occurred. This is when your really hard work at building relationships should start. And to do that, if you are going to communicate with them on a regular basis and you need to do this, you need to be interesting and helpful. Not just sell, sell, sell. It's all about the relationship, as I mentioned. So you can do this by sending out a thank you card in the mail. That goes down a treat because very few, very few companies do that. And it, it's uh, quite a dazzling or inspiring thing to do. You can send them an email. Of course, it's a cheap way to do it, and most companies do that. You could engage with them on social media, on your LinkedIn profile, um, on your Facebook business page, on Twitter, on Google+. There's all sorts of ways that you can continue your conversation with your clients. You could run a workshop. You could provide training. You could launch new products and services. Um, workshops are a great way to, to keep in front of customers and to add extra value. But it's not something that you do all the time. But if you can't run a workshop or your, like, your clients are located, you know, far away, you could run a webinar. This is a great way to communicate with, with customers on a regular basis, particularly to provide training and help, helpful sort of hints, that sort of thing. You could run a loyalty program. Now, we've all got a wallet through full of cards, urging us to use these cards, go back to the store, get you know t discounts on your petrol and points to put towards all sorts of products. Loyalty programs are good, and they're another way to, to build a relationship. Of course, you could ring or you could go and visit. That's the, by far the best way that you can build a relationship. But it's not easy to do. It's not cheap to do. And it depends on how scattered your clients are geographically and how many you've got. But it's one of many different ways to build a relationship. And of course, you could always run a client. Now, these are expensive, of course. But if you've got a high ticket item, um, you've got a sale coming up, you could run a cocktail party in your shop, you could uh, run... You could, you could host a, a golfing event and invite clients along to that. You could take them to a corporate box at the races. There's all sorts of things you can do to reward your loyal clients and show them how much you value them and to build your relationship with them. And there is one other way, and this is what we're going to talk about today, and it's newsletters. Newsletters are a fantastic way to provide a lot of value and a lot of information fairly cheaply on a regular basis, whether you print and mail them like the, the first two examples you see there, or e-newsletters, or alternatively, do both. E-newsletters. Okay, let's talk about them and how we go about creating them. We do lots of these for our clients. So the first thing that we do is we get together with our client and plan a template so that when the newsletters come out, they always look the same. So there's going to be design elements, which is your banner. Um, there's going to be static inform information uh, which could be, you know, your opening hours, products that you or services that you offer, a little bit about your company, that sort of thing. Social sharing buttons and social following buttons, so the newsletter can go viral. And of course, there's the articles. So once the newsletter design 
um, has been finalized, then we go about creating the content or you go about creating the content, however you want to do it. In this particular example that we've done for hairdresser, you can see that we run a competition in this issue. We have promotions for specific um, hair services and products. There's company news too, so people can you know get to know more about you, um, your opening, closing times, what's, what you've been up to, the awards that you've won, staff news, um, training that you've done, all that sort of thing. And the most valuable of all is the how-to tips. This is section that we do every month on how to do something gets more feedback than any of the other sections. It's just amazing. Because when you've done your newsletter, then you need to distribute it through any of the social media uh, outlets that you belong to. And of course, you could also print and mail it um, and of course, email it out. Next step is to measure it. You want to know how many people have opened your newsletter and how many have clicked on links. And if you're selling products through your newsletter, like this uh, example on the right, it's really interesting to know which one of the product links or which of the product links were the most popular because then we can tell uh, and we know what to, what to feature in the future and what to sort of drop and, and try other things. Emailing your customers is not only a fantastic way to build your, your relationship and your business with your customers, but it's also a great way to build a relationship with prospects. So why not expand your reach by making it easy for prospects to log in or to sign up for your, your newsletter and receive it automatically. So you could, we can put a, uh, an opt-in form on your website like these examples here. We could put one on your Facebook business page. Or alternatively, you could offer your newsletter or some sort of giveaway on the back of your business card, a waste of space usually. So this is a fantastic way to, to build your list. So the most common question that we get is what sort of content to put in your newsletter. There's several different types of content and the one that is the most valued and the most important is how-to information, general tips that and value that you can provide to your customers. The next thing is seasonal reminders. Um, and these can be things like... Um, you know, it, towards the summer's coming on to remind people it's time to get their air-conditioned units serviced. Um, with the hairdresser industry, it could be, uh, you know, Mother's Day specials or um, things coming up at Christmas time, you know, formals, that sort of thing. Um, with accountants, it could be, you know, tax time, tips, all that sort of thing. Case studies and testimonials are really, really powerful, particularly if you sell a product or service or you've done a job for somebody and you've really helped them overcome a problem or an issue. That's a great way to showcase just how good you are. And people, they value that because it's a third party providing proof that it's not just you saying how wonderful you are, it's somebody else saying how wonderful you are. And it, it goes a long way to earning trust. Company news, we talked about a little bit earlier, that, um, you know, personalizes your company and puts the human faces behind the company and helps people to see what sort of people that you're dealing with. It's always a great idea too to have external information like influential information about your industry in general. You could um, just provide news or you could comment on things that are happening. This establishes your expertise in your industry. If you've got blog posts that if you've got a website with a, with a blog on it, um, we can repurpose your blog post so they automatically appear in your newsletter. And this is a great way to get people to click through and return to your website. Occasionally, it's really worthwhile doing a survey to find out what your customers really feel and want and need. Um, not only does it engage them, but it also helps you to shape your future products and services. And of course, promotions, as I mentioned earlier, Actually, you're going to do promotions because you are there to sell more products and services. But our general rule of thumb is that your newsletter should only contain about 20 to 25 percent of promotional sales type articles. The rest of it needs to provide value. But you do not want to treat your customers like an APM. You don't want to just contact them when you want more money or sales messages. You'll just get a large amount of them opting out if that's all that you do. So, recap, what if it's a newsletter? Make you the credible expert in your marketplace, in your industry. They help you stand out from your competition because um, if you can, you'll find out that you're one of the very, very few people in your industry who does this. 
So it's really going to position you as a caring, committed company to your customers. So it can help you stay top of mind. Can you remember the name of the plumber that you used four years ago? I bet you can't, because I can't. And I can't remember the name of the solicitor that I used eight years ago, because he's never got in contact with me since. So find him again. Just let us keep the clients informed and engaged with you. It's like an ongoing conversation when you're not there. Because it will help prospects sitting on the fence wondering what to do, will they, won't they. It'll help them turn into customers because you're building their trust and you're showing how good you are by regularly communicating with them and providing value and information and uh, valuable tips, that sort of thing. Of course, it helps you keep your customers long term. That's the whole, whole aim of this is, is to keep your customers forever if you can and generate repeat customers. So that improves the lifetime value of your customer. And with the, uh, the electronic version, it's very easily for them to go viral. The, we find that a lot of people share the newsletters um, on Facebook and through email. And that helps to spread the word and find more customers. Newsletters will work for every type of business, for accountants, for salons, um, this one we do for a business consultant, manufacturing, the one for a food processing company, garden book. I have a range of garden books, and since I started issuing the newsletter, repeat sales or um, additional purchase sales have really, really increased because I, I, every month we send out a newsletter full of articles, very, very um, useful articles and gardening tips. And people read those and think, oh, I've got the tomato book now. Oh, she's also done a potato book. Oh, I'll get that too. It's a great way to generate repeat business or extra business. Real estate, ideal vehicle, for, uh, particularly for investors, to position yourself as a, a, an expert and uh, keep them informed of what's going on in the industry and what sort of um, real estate that you, you have for sale or coming up shortly. Solicitors all sorts of things that solicitors could put into newsletters, particularly in the business-to-business -business sector, I think um, they really want to position themselves as an expert in a, in a particular field. Tradies, um, yep, it's important for tradies to keep in contact. Don't know about every month. Uh, it depends on who their client, their client base are, but certainly at least once a quarter. Travel, I love receiving the travel, the travel newsletters that I get and dreaming of all those wonderful places and planning our next holiday. We also do um, a great newsletter, as I showed you earlier, for a uniform supplier. And he, since we, he launched his newsletter and has kept in contact with his clients every month, he's um, seen a lot of repeat business. He's very happy with this method of communication. It's done wonders for his repeat business and referral business. Speaking of happy clients, Sharon and Nikki, from Chapters Hair Design in Brisbane, they won numerous awards. They took up our deluxe newsletter service and um, within a short time they increased their client retention rate and revenue by 20%. That's an awesome result. So what about our newsletter services? Well, we've got two, two styles. DIY, where we set it up and then you create the, the content to issue it. Set it all up for you, we design your template, we have the social sharing and following buttons. We test it in all the um, major email programs to make sure that it looks okay and it delivers properly you know, in Outlook and Gmail and Hotmail, all those sorts of things. We import your client list for you. Um, we train you on use using the system. And then, you know, you can email up to a thousand clients a month uh, for these particular products. That's right. Um, if you want to leverage your newsletter and, uh, and, make sure, and make sure it goes to a wider audience, perhaps we can also design you a face, uh, professional looking Facebook page that matches your corporate branding and add a newsletter sign up form to it and distribute the, um, that makes it easy for you to distribute that newsletter uh, onto Facebook. So there's a setup fee uh, for us to, to do all that design and setup work and then uh, an ongoing monthly fee and we'll provide you with email support if you've got questions. There's, there's two services there, Standard and Deluxe. Now, if you're sitting there thinking there's no way I've got time or skills to write lots of articles and, and do all this, don't worry, we can do it all for you. Done for you services exactly the same as what we've just been through. It's 
big one difference is that we write your newsletter for you and we share it onto your social media accounts every month for you. So there is a, a one-off, a similar one-off setup fee and then the monthly fee with the support and us writing all those articles for you and putting them in, creating the newsletter and sending it out. Um, 150 for the standard and 160 for the deluxe if you decide to, to go through um, social media as well. So I mentioned earlier that there's two ways of creating newsletter content. The one is we create the template and then it's a case of typing in, in the content and adding photos. That's an ideal way to do it if you don't really have an active blog or a website. Um, and a better way is to add the articles directly to your blog as blog posts and then they're automatically added to the newsletter template and emailed out to your clients. And as you can see on the left, there's the, the blog post and on the right, there's the excerpt of the blog post with a link through in the newsletter with a link through to the original article. So that's a great way to not only leverage the information that you're putting up on your blog um, and making sure that it goes out to a wider audience, but also it saves time trying to think of you know, articles to write for your newsletter because you've already got them on your blog. So get started today. There's two easy ways. Send me an email to info at confidencemarketing.com.au and just tell me a little bit about yourself and whether you're interested in the standard or deluxe DIY or DFY done for you service or give us a call and let's have a chat. Don't delay, but you need to turn your customers into loyal rating fans before they go somewhere else. I'm Annette Wellsford. I look forward to chatting to you. Bye now.